everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use some image manipulation in PixLR. And that is a online free painting app. And we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do some overlays to create some unique effects on top of images. So here's an example that I did. And we'll be manipulating layers and changing different effects and different settings and overlapping images to create this. So if I take, here's my layers here. And if I turn those off, this one is like a light layer. And this one's a texture layer. You can see this was my original image. Okay, and we'll check that back. Like that. And that's just kind of how I edited the colors and all that to create something a little bit more interesting. Okay, but what we need to do to get started is we're going to go to pixlr.com. So that's P-I-X-L-R.com. And we're going to be using the advanced option. So it's the PixLRE. And you can see here are some of my uh, projects I've been working on. Um, if you have an image you want to use, that's great. But they also have a stock search. And it'll come up with random images or you can click on something that you want to or search for something that you want to use. I actually really like this one. So I'm going to go with that one. And let's go with the full HD. Okay, so let's do some um, image manipulation. So we're going to actually add another layer. And it's going to be empty. And now we are going to go to File and do a stock search. And this time, search for texture. And just find something that speaks to you. Like I used this one on my original image. I think I'm going to try. This might be interesting. Okay. So I'm going to go to select and select all. So it's actually opened. You see you have your little tabs up here. It's actually opened it in a new tab. So we select all, edit, and copy. Now I'm going to go back to my first tab and zoom back in a little bit. Now we're going to go to edit paste and you have to make sure it creates a new layer. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and when you use this tool right here, this is the arrange tool, you can adjust your picture. Like so. And it should fill the whole canvas now. I'm going to zoom back in a little bit. Okay. So now it's covering my original picture. But we want it to overlay. So I'm going to click on these three little dots here. And we're going to change the blend mode to overlay. And it's going to create this overlapping texture on top of your original image. If you don't like that, you can always change it. So I could go back and do another search. And maybe we'll try... Oh, this one might look cool. So I'm going to select all, edit, copy and go back to my first image and go to edit paste and change this one to overlay and there's also other options here so you could try and see what those might look like to kind of get the effect that you want Well, I kind of like that one. And if you have a layer that maybe you're not sure about, you might use it, you might not. You can always turn it off by clicking the little check box there. So I'm going to take that one off. I really like this one. And I actually use the screen mode to blend. OK, 
Okay. But another way we can add overlays is to go to layer, add element layer, and we're going to hit overlay. And there's all these other different pictures. So maybe if you like the colorful ones or different light ones, or we could try a grade, gradation. You can kind of, you can move this over so you can see what it looks like. And you can change the transparency. So you can just play around with those and find something interesting. The mosaics are kind of cool. don't really want to cover all of my image so I think I'm gonna go with maybe something like this and there is my image that I created and if you want to save you can just go to file save and you can give it a name like you can call it overlay and put your name and you just hit download.